And we find that any society that is able to promote itself, able to market itself, and convince other human beings that within their borders, in their land, in their government, freedom and liberty could be realized more so than anywhere else. It's just like being in McDonald's. Somehow or another, if you've got a problem, you don't have money, you don't know where to pay your bills, you had an argument with your husband or you had an argument with your wife, you lost your job, somehow or another when you see those golden arches, like Pavlov's, Pavlov's salivating dog, you just start salivating. You start feeling a bit of relief. Or it might be Burger King. You can have it your own way. And if you get your children with you, your children, they start acting differently all of a sudden. Pulling and wanting you to pull over. Can we stop for a moment then? Elderly people. They get up early in the morning, 7 o'clock, can you imagine? And they have no one to talk to. Their sons and daughters are graduates. They're off somewhere else, chasing their dreams. And the grandchildren, of course, are not there. And they have nothing to do but look out the window and watch television. But if McDonald's is down the street, they get up 7 o'clock in the morning. They get dressed. And they walk down to McDonald's. And they buy a cup of coffee and a cinnamon bun or Egg McMuffin. And they sit there all morning, watching children coming in and out, and people smiling in colors, blue, yellow, red. Beautiful place, full of energy. And they sit there all day with just this cup of coffee and a cinnamon bun for a couple of hours, because McDonald's has sold to the world a dream. And they belong to the McDonald's family. And governments have sold to you and I a dream, just like McDonald's, that if you stay here and you cooperate and you assimilate, you also will have freedom and liberty and all the things you've ever wanted. Two chickens in every pot, two cars in every garage, and more than you need. Of course, and plenty of credit cards. <laughs> But what they don't say, what is the price of this expensive freedom and liberty? The price of it is that you have in your refrigerators, you have in your closets, and you have in your stomach, and you have in your houses, the share of other people's starvation. That's the price you pay. But because you're watching those commercials, you're constantly diverted from the reality that you have more than your share. 